everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video is a video I've been waiting to do for quite a while, but I've just been waiting on the delivery to come because it's just, just taken a while to come. So, if you haven't seen over the past month or so since it's been getting a lot darker outside, I've been having a lot of issues with this camera and auto-focusing. So we're getting quite a few blurry videos of these, which isn't good. We don't want blurry videos of you, do we? No. Now something we get asked quite a lot on the channel and get regular emails and messages about is what camera equipment do you use? How do you film the dogs doing this? How did you get them shot? I want to start my own YouTube channel. What should I do? What should I buy? Etc. Etc. Now I'm not going to go into like massive details in this video about everything and what you need to know and stuff. There's plenty of actual camera reviews and everything like that. And we were going to go outside and do some walks, but we're going to have to do that without the camera because what I don't want to do is get it wet because it's not waterproof. And it's raining. It's meant to be really good in low light, which here in Britain, because in the day lasts now like four hours, and like even now it's the middle of the day, and I'm stood right by the window, so I'm getting the maximum light. But in this room, it's just incredibly dark. It goes grainy. Now I know this isn't going to be the most interesting video for you guys who are just here for little pug guys, but these are the things we have to do for the channel. So let's have a little history lesson, should we? Yeah. So then, welcome to the festive table. Hi, do you want to stand on the festive table? So when we first started off on YouTube, we just started off with this. A old iPhone 6 crack screen, and it done the job. I then upgraded to this a Canon G7X Mark II. Now this is a very widely used camera on YouTube. Big, big channels still use this to this day. But there's just some things I wanted to do that this just didn't do. So that moves on to this camera you're currently watching on, Sony AX53, 4K camcorder, it's been great, it's best outside, inside is not very good in low light, as you see I've put the light on now because it, you just wouldn't be able to see this properly, it'd be really grainy. But because it's a camcorder it can't take photos, so I've been taking photos on my phone, in my nice new That Pug Pablo phone case. And I'm sure everybody watching this video would probably still be fine if I was even just still using this camera. Nobody would probably have noticed a difference, it'd be fine. But it's completely personal on what you want your own content to look like. For the stuff I want to do and the stuff I want to do going forward, the current camera setup isn't going to cut it anymore. So, I know this is a lot of talking, but what we'll do is I'll get the new camera, show you guys, show you guys what we've bought and what we plan on doing with it all. And then I'm just going to spend basically the rest of the day testing it, testing it now, testing it at night. We're going to try and go outside. It looks like there's a break at the moment, so we're going to try and just jump in the garden, try and get some shots in there. Um, there'll be some teething issues with it because I'm, there's one thing extra we need, but yeah. So let's go get it. So I have been very excited about this upgrade for quite some time, I've been thinking about it for a long time, I've been doing months of research about what cameras to get, what gimbal to get with it, and yeah, it is finally all now arrived, I have shown you this camera before in a recent video, and it's not actually in the box, so don't worry, I wasn't throwing it around. It's an absolute fantastic photo camera, it's got interchangeable lenses, so we can do lots of different things, I haven't got any lenses, but I can get them. And the other stuff, spare battery, battery charger, and a new memory card which should allow us to do 120 frames per second slow motion, so it should be twice as good, no, like three times as good slow motion on this as this current one, so excellent. And last but not least, a gimbal. Now this is the thing I've been looking forward to most, and this is the thing that's, I think, really gonna impact content the most, definitely. So hopefully we should get some ultra smooth, ultra slow motion videos of these dogs, and it's going to look Ah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I know these types of videos will get low views and a lot of you guys aren't interested in this sort of stuff or the, you know, you just want to see the dogs and that's completely fair enough. But I just want to say for all you guys who are watching just because you support the channel and you just watch the videos because you enjoy watching the videos, thank you so much. And for everybody who's went and bought merch, thank you guys so much. That has helped a lot to go and get this. Obviously this stuff isn't cheap. Like, really not cheap. And especially around Christmas. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. And you guys are fully supporting the channel. So all that money I want to be investing back into the channel and making it the best content for you guys. Because if you're supporting me, I just want to get you guys bigger and better things as much as I can. And for the stuff that I would like to do next year, this is going to be a huge help for us. And just a just huge thank you to you guys. You know, you guys make this possible. This 
this wouldn't be here without you guys and I just want to thank you guys. I know a better thank you to you guys would be just to be making more pub content and not talking as much like this and I completely understand this camera doesn't have a viewfinder that you can see from the front so whereas this camera can flip like that so you can see yourself when you're talking this camera doesn't have that and you can only look through the viewfinder from behind the camera so just to give you guys a hint of what is to come not a lot of me <laughs> which I'm sure a lot of people have just set off a load of fireworks in celebration but but hey yo it's my channel I'll do what I want now let's go get this thing hopefully it's charged up well then okay you can't see that now I did say in day one of Vlogmas there might not always be pub content, so I look like a professional, it looks like I know what I'm doing. So as you can see, oh hold on, I should have left the instructions out. There we go, right it's on, we're on, <gasps> we're on. Right, yeah I absolutely shouldn't have worn black. So as you can see this is fantastic. Um, <laughs> So you see the camera, it stays perfectly level when you tip it, it stays in the same spot. So hopefully with this, we should be able to get some really smooth shots of the dogs when they're running and stuff because we can literally just... Now the one thing I can't do is attach a microphone to the top of there because it's clipping every time it hits there because obviously it's meant to be held like this, whereas realistically I'd be holding it the complete opposite way but it doesn't allow for it. So when we're on walking stuff this is all people are going to see in the corner of the park me just following the dogs around with this. You can set it up with the phone app and stuff and there's a lot more to it and I'm going to take a while probably to learn it so yeah. I apologize if this video is dragging out a bit. I just need to get a memory card in so I can start filming and then we'll be away. Who designed this? Oh my, there's so many settings! I don't know what the difference is. It doesn't have anywhere near as big a zoom. How professional do I look? Now the thing is, I know absolutely nothing about cameras. I've just been looking at reviews and basically just see what everyone else is. So everything on this is going to be automatic, I think, or... or uh oh I want to learn and now I've got this camera I've got the ability to learn I might takes ooh, might take some like photography or video night classes or something at like local college or something just just to get the best for you guys yeah let's go that one higher memory usage that means better okay right we're running out of daylight so I'm gonna go quickly go get some footage the sound I'm gonna have to steal a microphone from that I'll have to sort that out at a different time because I need to be plugging it in and out of the computer so let's go get some footage and see what this can do Boys, oh, what's this? Ah, yeah. Hello. How are you? You a good boy? You a good boy? Are yeah. you? Are you scared of the new camera? Ooh. Now the other camera couldn't see under here. Hello. Mini mister, we're going to go up the stairs.
What are you doing? You biting wind's tail. Oh. So hopefully this doesn't sound too awful. I will get the proper microphone on, but obviously just trying to figure everything out first and then we'll we'll sort that out after. First impressions though, the colour of this is so much more representative of real life. It's not trying to fake a colour. As you can see when I was panning around this room, the other one struggles to kind of keep focus and keep the colour. It tries to turn like yellow is white. Well, that's not what the colour is. Some would argue it looks better because it looks more like it's in the daylight, but I, this is like a true colour. So when you're filming at night and stuff, you get actually what's happening and you see on the Christmas tree I think as well that looked a lot better I can only see on this screen so we'll see when we edit it see what it looks like photo wise they look amazing but obviously I'm going to look through the viewfinder so hopefully they come out but they look really good it looks a lot smoother the focus is definitely a lot better and when something's still in shot it kind of like blurs out the background so it looks really nice the settings are definitely going to need adjusted on the gimbal though to be a lot more responsive because it wasn't quite turning quickly enough and then obviously when it was upside down it was having a bit of a pap so I need to just figure out exactly how to use it and how to get it working and then should be good. But it was very smooth, the shots looked great, hopefully, fingers crossed. So yeah, we'll now be using this camera from now on, which means at times like this I won't be like, oh, it's too dark to start filming the video, I'll be able just to film and it'll look good. It might be darker, but that's exactly what it's supposed to be, but you don't lose the detail and that's the problem I was having. I didn't like the fact that it was all grainy and you lost all the focus. It was, so let us know in the comment section what you think. Do you think it's bad? Do you like this? I'm not getting rid of that. I will keep it. I'm probably going to find some other uses for it. It's a little bit more zoomed in, so I have to sit a bit further away. But what we can do is we can get a lens so we can get a lot closer and we can get some different things. So that it's, I think this is, it looks good from where I'm sat. And obviously, as you can see, it's blurring my hand out. It's not trying to focus on my hand because it's got the dogs in focus and it knows. So that's a lot better. I appreciate if you have made this far in the video. Thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe as always. Peace out, people.